It does, yeah. I mean, we have such depth on the American women's side that you can't just relax and, and count a win before the race starts. It's always hard. It's always, you have to be engaged and you have to, you can't let up. Um, you have to watch where people like Brenda are at the finish and people like Molly Seidel who are so strong right now and Natasha Rogers. And, um, that's what I'm thinking every race. You know, there's people to watch out for. There's people having great seasons. There's people having breakout seasons. So it's always, you're, I'm always on my toes and it's always something I'm proud of to pull off afterwards. I never um, take it for granted. So. Were you surprised that you were able to throw down and, uh, and open up as big of a gap as you did, especially since you've been, like you said the other day, you're still in a really heavy training block? Yeah, I was surprised. Um, I knew my strength was good just from some workouts we did, but I um, I just assumed that everyone was still there at the end or could make a move. Um, so I tried to just push all the way to the finish and um, just keep stretching it at the end. This, the course record surprised me. I didn't think I would run that fast. and. Um, I, the clocks were a bit off, so I didn't realize we were going that fast. But yeah, I just I knew I had to keep making that distance grow. Was it uh, cool to go one two with another Notre Dame Molly? Yeah, it was really cool to have uh, Molly Seidel there, and this is her, I think one of her first really big professional road races. So we were kind of um, hanging out together beforehand, and it's cool to represent Notre Dame out there. <laughs> I know that you guys are pretty removed from each other. Do you have like a friendship or relationship with her at all or what's up? Yeah, definitely. Well, I've seen her, I've run with her maybe twice um, up in Boston. They're when the Freedom Track Club isn't that far from us in Providence, so that's been pretty cool. I think I've seen her almost once a month since she moved here, um, just between stuff at the Saucony office and events. So yeah, we get along well and i um, hoping to pop up there for some long runs. And um, yeah, it's, uh, she's, she's got a great kickoff to her career this weekend and um, it's going to be exciting. Yeah. <laughs> what do you have? Do you have any more races planned for the full winter? Uh, Manchester on Thanksgiving and um, into the half, Houston half in January. Well, what do you mean to get that? the first two miles when they were still on you? Yeah, I'm, well, in a 5K, usually people don't fall away until the last 800K or so, so I knew that was they'd still be there. Um, and I was, you know, if, if people were still there to the end, I thought, great, like, they'll help me push harder and if they fall away early I thought great that that means the grind is working so um, yeah today was just testing myself and um, I knew it was a good field to do that in and just trying to use my strength so what's the result of the test um, I passed the test <laughs> yeah I wasn't sure did you sense that you were in the clear like as early as Central Park South you were, you were... Um, I wasn't sure if Molly was I think she, she was really quiet behind me, so I knew she was feeling good. Um, Brenda, I could hear breathing a little bit, <laughs> um, but I, until I kind of made that hairpin, I didn't realize that there was a bit of a gap. So, but then I had to keep pushing anyway. So. I think we were 4:55, and then my watch said 5:10 for the second, which I don't know if that's accurate, but that's what I got on my watch. <laughs> you feel like to get another title. It feels great, yeah. It, it always is special, and the 5K is my favorite distance, so that makes it a little more special to me. And being in New York makes it even more awesome. So. You have so many national titles. Do you know exactly how many? Like what number this is? It's in the 20s. I don't know exactly. <laughs> 25, 24. I don't know. I don't. Know. <laughs> it's a good problem to have. <laughs> yep. Uh, congratulations.